Hey guys, I just wanted to do a tutorial on how to draw realistic hair pretty easily. I want to show you a method that kind of simplifies the process. Um, you should be able to apply this technique on any hair type, not just the one I'm doing here. Uh, the only change would be the length and the direction of the strokes. Also, you could use this basic method to help draw just about anything, not just hair. What I want to try and get you to do is try and think of your drawing in three different parts. So medium tones, dark tones and light tones. So neutral, positive and negative. Ideally an HB pencil and those around it would be around the medium range. Anything from about a 3B and up would be considered to be the dark range and the light range is basically white so just blank paper with nothing drawn on it. But instead of carefully trying to draw around the areas you want to keep white or light, uh, there's a much easier way that I'm going to show you in a couple minutes. I think this principle of contrast consisting of neutral, positive and negative applies to many different forms of art. For example, if you're sculpting, um, you'd start with a basic rough form, which would be a neutral, and then you would add and subtract parts to get things right. So you'd be going from positive and negative in terms of volume. Um, in music, there could be a flat neutral sort of tone in the middle range, and then there'd be the negative tones being the bass and the low sounds, and then the high positive treble tones. There's probably many more examples of this, but um, the point I'm trying to make is how well-balanced contrast plays a pretty important role in making something more appealing to the human senses. So the first step I did there was um, I just outlined the hair, like where the basic shape and form of the hair is going to go, um, like the locks and stuff. Now I am just filling in the hair with um, strokes that, that follow the directional flow of the hair. And the next step after that is to get a paper stump, an artist's paper stump. You can find them on eBay. Um, it's basically just compressed paper. And um, you can use tissue paper or your finger just to just smudge in those lines. And I'm just basically filling in all the, the white areas. You know, so you've got like a smooth, smooth hair. You can still see strokes in it, but it's sort of not, you know, it's flat. So at this point, we have our medium range done. Uh, the next step after that is to do the dark areas. So I'm looking at the reference image and I'm just looking at where all the dark parts are and I'm, I'm coloring in those bits. I'm using a uh, probably a 3B pencil or 4B pencil, whatever suits you. Um, and again, I'm following the direction of the hair. That's always important. I'm not really worrying about it too much for this tutorial, but um, uh, the more you can emulate a strand of hair with each stroke, the better. You know, the more realistic it'll look. So after I put those dark parts down, I will get the paper stump again, and I'll basically smudge the dark areas into the medium tone areas, and just blend them together. So we now have our middle range and our dark range. So the next step is the highlights, or the negatives. So what we're going to do is erase, basically kind of erase strands of hair that where the, where the light's reflecting. Um, I've got a rubber here that's it's it's called like a pencil top eraser. So it's just a little piece of rubber that I, that you can put on top of your pencil. Um, it's I got it off eBay. Just search wedge arrowhead pencil top eraser. And they work quite well. Um, or another way you can do is just cut an eraser in half and just use the edge of the eraser. And if you notice, I, I'm going off the screen every two seconds. What I'm doing there is just basically rubbing the eraser on my shirt to clean it. Um, or else you're just going to, you know, smudge dark bits everywhere. It's not going to be as effective. What you want is like clean white highlights. And again, with, with, the, with the eraser, you're trying to erase a strand of hair each time. And then lastly, just smudge. Smudge in again, and you can just go back and forth, you know, dark areas, light areas, um, and smudging. And that's basically it. As you can see, I've achieved pretty realistic hair relatively easily, um, just by being conscious of the contrast and the positives and negatives of light. And that's it. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, 
and all that awesome stuff. Um, this is actually my first tutorial on YouTube, so if I get a good response from it, I'll definitely it'll definitely motivate me to do more in the future. Um, you can check out my drawings at drawforyou.com, and um, thanks for watching. Bye.